Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to tell you about uh, Shopping Cart API with the CQRS pattern. I, we, uh, we all know that, we are working on that. But uh, I am going to explain uh, or elaborate my membership plan. In this membership plan, I will provide you complete .NET Core tutorial, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, .NET Blazor, Unit Testing, HTML, jQuery, CSS, SQL Server, and React. It's not only a simple video tutorial, it's based on your project-based video tutorial. So each technology have minimum two projects you have, okay? Uh, only 800 rupees, only pay one time fees that is one time fees uh, uh, repeat again only one time fees that you pay 800 rupees for indian user and dollar 15 for other country user okay uh, just pay 800 or you can say dollar 15 and get a net tutorial it's only a simple tutorial i mean to say it's a to advanced video tutorial I just covered uh, only uh, that is in being dollar core i explained it okay and uh, uh, Architectural limits I will put and uh, this is a deal actually and I will increase the price just after uh, some days So uh, get this deal quickly as as soon as possible. Okay, uh, so how to get this deal? Just to fill this form that is full stack development course your name your email ID your contact number transaction reference ID order ID or PayPal ID and uh, that is the course fees uh, transaction reference ID means to say that when you pay uh, from uh, UPI ID, just like that, you can pay uh, 800 rupees for Indian users and pay uh, outside from India. Just pay using this QR code or you can consider my PayPal ID. Okay, dollar uh, fifteen for outside India and uh, uh, 800 rupees for Indian users. Okay, so. Uh, just fill this form and get the membership your form link available in your video description box so hurry up guys uh, it's a last chance okay so i will provide you complete video tutorial on dotnet core and rest of the technologies uh, and with the projects and complete source code okay complete source code and complete video tutorial so just hurry up guys it's a last chance okay and this is my course structure. Here you can see that uh, first of all start from ESP.NET Core, and that is the course structure you can see on your screen, where we have a directory structure, MVC work, migrations, uh, entity framework core, relationship tier, one to one relation, one to many relationships, and all ten examples of one to one relationship, validations, client side validations, how it works, server side validations, custom validation, anti forgery attacks. How to configure session, how to use session, partial view, view components, who was theme, paging, searching, sorting, file services, generic repository, unit of work, and all identities, data seeding, prototype, rough ideas to design projects, and filters and middlewares. Now consider with the APIs, uh, what is WCF, SOA, REST, create AFP.NET, and you can see that in, in your screen, like it's a web API product, uh, web API tutorials and next uh, it is uh, about the angular so here we have angular node.js install angular cli create a new project in the latest uh, angular version directory structure running path module class and all okay and that is the c sharp course for beginner to advanced video tutorials signal r and uh, it's a bootstrap okay and it's a microservice based projects javascript and Blazor, you can see that the Microsoft Blazor introduction, single page application, hosting models, WSM create a new projects, a React, you can see. So uh, lots of tutorials I will provide you based on the curriculums, okay. So continue in e-commerce API. In the last video tutorial, uh, we already discussed about the list utilities class. List utilities class, we all know that. Here we have list related data that is the type of extension method that is not null or empty and here you can pass any class like error class okay so uh, here we have a list of errors uh, list of error is not null and list dot any then return it true okay 
So today I am going to uh, tell you about the uh, because these utilities actually used in a uh, username uh, username value object. Okay. So here I am going to add a list utilities dot uh, empty list of error. Here I am going to pass the string uh, utilities. Okay. So here we have a domain layer. Under the domain layer, we have a utilities like list utilities. Today, I am going to add a string utilities in our project. So, what is the string utilities is? So, add a new empty file and that is string utilities. .cs and I am going to add string utilities here. That is make it static first. That is the utilities. So here we have a public static class string utilities. Now I am going to add private static read only. So here we have a static uh, character type array. And I am going to add illegal characters. So you can say illegal illegal characters illegal characters is what you can just define illegal characters just under uh, your uh, object of array so we have some illegal characters like and that is if you got that type of uh, so that is the illegal character. It say read only, and that only a illegal character also. And you can take it hash is also a illegal characters. Okay. Now I'm going to add these are the illegal characters. Just consider it. And the next one uh, dot two trim character. Uh, that is, if you have any. Uh, Trim character, I mean to say that leading, leading and the trailing spaces, like you have a space, so that is the trimming character. So just to define it private uh, static read only character type array, and you can just define two uh, that is trim character. Trim character is what that is that is the space and new line I want to trim and that is the tab also and that's fine that is the dot two trim character that is the string utilities okay the next one is if you have null or empty or white space if you got null empty or white space in a string so you can just make it public static bool static bool it it will return boolean type like is null or empty or white space if you got anything in this uh, string so Make it a extension method here. This string value, or you can say uh, string value, or you can take input here. Okay, and also a string is right now is nullable. So you can just return if it is got anything. The string is empty, null, or the white space. Then you can just return it string dot is null or white space. With the input okay so string dot it return if a string is null or white space it will return the uh, true and false value okay if it is not null I mean to say that is null empty or white space you just return it not null or uh, not null or empty or white space just you can make it a new method instead of 
is you can just paste it in note null or empty or white spaces with the input string then you can return it string is null or white spaces is false okay so it will return true if it is not uh, getting anything uh, from uh, in a given string okay now if you just uh, think about the contains illegal characters in the string like uh, again you have to design a new method just copy and paste public static bool contains illegal characters contains illegal characters that is uh, if you have any illegal characters just match it from the given here so that input text is input I mean to say that string have a input so you can just check it input dot any input dot any and you can just use it x tends to x dot and or you can say x dot you have a characters that is illegal characters dot contains that is x if you got any uh, character uh, in a given uh, array of illegal characters then it will return true so that is the true contains illegal character that written true or false and contains two trim characters so just copy and paste boolean contains illegal characters contains two trim character so input string is like that Oops. so input string is input dot any illegal character instead of illegal characters you can take it to trim characters if it is uh, exists dot to trim characters then it will return true okay now uh, we also have a uh, simple method that check uh, your string have eight digits okay so just like that public static bool and contains digit okay so that's the method that check so contains digit contains digit I mean to say that this this string input and first of all for each just convert it into the character so here we have a car and that is the character single character so here we have a character in input string and I want to check it if care dot is digit it's a method is digit is a method in a character you have to check it if it is a uh, character is given then return true otherwise return false okay so it's a for each loop so return false so if digits is uh, your string have a digits then it return true otherwise it return false okay now the next one is to do uh, it's a common task that is length in range okay so a string length is given and the given range is uh, like that so public static bool is length in range this string input integer lower bound integer upper bound so here we have a lower bound and upper bound now the given input string is uh, its extension method where we have a lower bound and upper bound 
so the input dot length is greater than or uh, i mean to say that it will return return input dot length is greater than or equal to that is the from the lower bound and input dot length is lower is upper bound then it will return true okay length not in range also so is length in not in range i mean to say length not in range so input and lower bound and upper bound so you can say make it false that method will call it false so return input is a uh, that is the string just call it is length is length in range and make it pass lower bound and upper bound okay is false so in given the input string is lower bound and upper bound basis okay the next one is case insensitive equal string is case sensitive equal so you can pass it public static pool case insensitive case insensitive equal okay and the given string is this string input and string compare to okay the comparing string is compared to okay if it is both are equal that is case insensitive equal so it's written true okay so written string dot equals the first one input and compare to and also string comparison applied here so string comparison no uh, okay that is the string comparison dot ignore ordinal case ignore ordinal ignore case okay so it will return that is true and the next one is not contains okay string not contain this value so public static bool not contains and that is this string input and string search that is not contain okay so written input dot contains search is false that's fine now i mean to say and remove all a string have a remove all uh the given string so it will uh, check it next time but if you have uh, contains not contains that is contains so just copy that code and paste it here not contains that is contains so string input and searching text is uh, this one so it will return uh, also we have a uh, array type so make it here the input string input and just make it here params okay and string type of array so here we have a searching text here now you can use for each loop for each i mean to say that it's a type of string and here i'm going to item in collection collection is what that is search okay each item have uh, contains 
and just check it if input dot contains that is the item is false if it is not contain then return false otherwise it return true so it return true that's fine so if you have some uh, characters in the given string it's a long string and if you have uh, some like uh, given um, string so if it is contained then return uh, true otherwise it will return false so these are the utility functions of the string that we'll use in our e-commerce project api so that is contains to tim character contains digit is length in range length not range and uh, contains illegal characters not null or empty white space that these types of the string is given and here we have a illegal characters that is this one that is the white space and illegal character like that to trim character is this one is null or white space so string dot is null or white space is uh, false make it false that return false otherwise it will return true that make it string is null or white space is false then it will return true okay so these are the functions that we'll use in our value object to check it the string utilities okay